mic check. Ah, uh, there we go. Alrighty. Welcome everybody. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Monday. Even though it is Monday, unfortunately. Um, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Sorry, I got the kids running around in the back of the, in the backyard, so I'm just checking on them real quick. But anyways, I know it's Monday. I'm right there with you. It's been a long day already. But, we're going to be playing something new. If y'all didn't see by the title, we're going to be playing a new game. I say new game, new to the channel. Uh, called Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, it's a game that has been out for quite quite a while. Um, I actually need to look up how long it's been out now. It's been out for it's been out for a good minute. Um, but it's something that I used to love playing, and still really good game. Uh, they actually have a new expansion coming out for it here. I don't know, pretty soon. I think they opened up like early access to it or something like that. I'm not sure. I'd have to. I'd have to look a little bit more into it. I just saw something on the page as I was getting everything set up for tonight's stream. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be starting a whole new character. I actually have one um, from the last time that I played, which was probably a year or two ago, I think, at this point, maybe a little bit longer. Um, but I do still have that account. Um, but for the sake of the Let's Play and all that, I'm actually going to be starting on a brand new server brand new character like completely starting from scratch um so uh this game is pretty intense as far as there's a lot to do there's a lot of content it can get pretty confusing the first time that you play it um and they're constantly adding stuff so learning the mechanics of how this game works is kind of crazy and intimidating at first because you have multiple different classes that you can play as so you have your tanks, healers, and DPS. So it's kind of, the best way I can describe it to you is think of WoW, like World of Warcraft is kind of the best way I can describe it to you. Um, but you have, like I said, your DPS, your healers, and your tanks, and there's different classes within each one of those that you can play. And then you have your artisan classes that, you know, like your crafting classes, like leather worker, uh, weaver, um, armor, all, all kinds of stuff. Blacksmith. There, there's a bunch of different like crafting classes. Then you also have your gathering classes. Miner, botanist, and fisher. There's three of those as well. Um, so yeah, there, there's a lot to get into. Um, I haven't decided what class I want to play yet. I was heavily kind of between starting as either a tank or a healer. Because early on... Um, it's really difficult to kind of get rolling as a DPS because there's so many people that play as a DPS. So like when you go jumping in dungeons and stuff like that, you get way faster cues as a healer or tank. So we'll probably roll as one of those two starting um, and then go for there. Uh, if my camera will focus because I look like a blurry blob right now. Ah, there it goes. All right. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to talk a whole lot more um i'm gonna kind of let let things go and uh see what y'all think um there is a little bit of an intro that we're about to go through i'm not gonna skip as we're playing through this and as a let's play i'm not gonna skip any cutscenes. i'm gonna let everything play through uh be forewarned there will be spoilers as we go through because i will be playing storyline um because so with this game, to progress through it and to actually unlock more stuff, you have to progress storyline. So that's a full disclaimer before we jump into this Let's Play series. If it's something you're interested in playing or you play it and I get to a point where you're at or something of that nature, uh, just be aware that there will be spoilers. Um, also, I will do my best as we're playing to kind of explain mechanics and to... Um, explain roles and different classes and kind of throw my my knowledge in there now like i said it has been a while since i have played and there's a lot that has probably changed this that and the other so i might be learning along with you on some of this stuff um i do know uh they did a thing a couple years back i think or like two or three years back i believe to make the storyline in the beginning 
shorter, I believe, to help kind of progress that because there's so much content to help you kind of catch up to where everybody else is at. They've kind of shortened the story, I believe, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. I don't remember, but I, I think it was something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to shut up. Let's switch over to live view. Let's get into it, boys. Appreciate y'all being here today. It's not so fun. Uh, let me pause. Boop. Pause the music. I'll uh, I'll actually let this play real quick. Uh, let me turn up desktop audio. All right, there we go. Okay, done switching stuff. Sorry. Okay. So we're going to let this intro play for you guys real quick and let y'all listen to it. Meow.
Crystal Tower. We'll see that one in the Let's Play. dope man so dope love it so that was actually the intro to the expand one of the expansion packs that's out um and i do so i have when i bought the game initially um i bought the ex all the expansions that are out right now i have all of them um so we will be able to play through all of that and experience all that um so one thing i will say is that actually hold on so i'm gonna go back here okay um i actually was gonna select a different uh data center real quick because i wanted to play the intro but before i jump into that so i'll let y'all see what i'm playing on and all that um but uh so graphically this game is beautiful love the graphics in this game and just the art the artistry and the music and all that stuff is phenomenal. Um, now, I will say, as we're doing this Let's Play, I'm not going to... I actually have the music turned off just for the sheer fact that I don't... I'm trying not... I don't know if the music on this is going to be copyrighted. And I don't want to get a copyright strike on YouTube for playing the music. So if anything, I may play a little bit of background music as, you know, as we're playing, maybe. Um, it just depends because this is a pretty fast paced game. There's a lot that goes on and, you know, there's always something happening um, unless I'm, you know, just sitting around crafting or doing something like that. Or, you know, if I'm doing what I would consider, you know, chill, laid back, boring stuff, you know, I, I might play some music in the background. Um but like I said, there, there's going to be a lot going on, and especially as we expand into it and get into the like the story stuff, there's just a lot. Um, I will do my best as we're playing. Um, if there's anything that is not voice uh, voice narrated, because a lot of the main story stuff, there's a lot of voice acting and there's a lot of um, cutscenes and stuff like that, and all, all those like main story cutscenes are voice acted. Um, but anything that's not, I will do my best to kind of read it as we go, um, and try not to skip through anything. Cause like I said, I want it to be like a full immersive kind of thing. So, um, let me strangle one of my children real quick. It was a joke. Uh, but they're beating on the shed. Give me just one second. Alrighty. Now that the children have been strangled, just kidding. <laughs> nah, there's in there banging on the shed, and I can hear him over my headphones. Uh, I say the shed. It is a shed. It's a he shed. He said, she said. 
Um, but anyways, all right. So let's jump back into it. Um, let's go. I forget what server I played on the last time. So when I first, so I've I've actually been in on and off on this game a few times. Uh, when I first started playing, I actually first started playing with my dad, and we played quite a bit together for God at least two or three years. Um, I think maybe maybe a year, maybe two years, something like that. Uh, but we played on Goblin was the uh, server that we played on. Um, so and then I played on one of the other ones. I think Coral, Coral was the other one I played on. Um, I'm not sure. I I know that I played on one of these. I believe. I think I still say it on like these. Um, let's jump to Leviathan. I think that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm pretty sure this is gonna start a cutscene after I start this. So if it does, I'm gonna shut up. But let's see what it does. Because there's an intro cutscene that I wanted it to play before it did the uh, character creation. But I don't think it's going to. Um, it should... Um, whatchamacallit. It should play the intro cutscene whenever I create the character. So we're going to jump into the character creation process. It's another thing that I love about this game. So... You have so many different races that you can play as. Love the attention to detail here. Um, so let's select a little bit of an environment. To... I, I want something that's well lit. I like that. There we go. Something that's, I don't know, makes it easy. So anyways, let's jump through the, cl or the races real quick. Um, so you have the higher which is basically your humanoid people. It's your, it's your, you know, your homo sapiens, if you will. So that's what those guys are. Um, you have your Elizin, which are going to be your elven people, as you can tell by the pointy ears. Very tall characters. Next up, we have the Lalafell, which are basically the dwarfs of the, uh, of the kingdom. Cute little guys. I love the Lalafells. I've actually played as them quite a bit. Um, you have the Makote, which are the cat people. To you earlier, Molly. Uh, meow. There you go. There's your meow. We also have our Rogadins, which our Rogadins are basically just hulking monsters. They're, they're big boys. Um, definitely, if you're playing the tank class, I think Rogan is a very, very fitting, uh, very fitting uh, race to play as. The Ara, or I, I'm not even, I butcher this every time. These are dragon people. They are descendant of dragons. So the curved horns and beautifully patterned scales that characterize Aru or Ara. I don't. I'm not even gonna. Like I said, I'm probably gonna sit there and butcher that every time I try to say it. Um, but uh, trying to see. Dracon draconian horns yeah and the uh, second being the gross disproportion in body mass between or males and females again a trait widely unseen in dragons uh so you can see the males are significantly larger than the females uh of the dragon people quite a bit different in size uh hrothgar uh, these are a classic. I noticed there's only males with the Hrothgar race, uh, but they're like lion people, as you can tell by the fangs and uh, markings, the lion's mane, all that good stuff. Uh, Viera were a new race um, last time I played. Uh, they've actually been out for quite a while, but they are what I call the bunny people. So <laughs> you, you got your playboy bunnies. There you go. So... I was kind of torn uh, going into this Let's Play series on um, what race I wanted to play. Um, and I was torn between Lalafell and the Roganin. Now, personally, I love the Lalafell. Like, that's my favorite race to play as. The only reason I'm not going to play as a Lalafell on this playthrough is because one of the things that I noticed playing this game especially as you get into late game stuff and you get into these really big dungeons where you're running like, you know, 20, 30 people. Um, it can be a little difficult to see these little guys. 
And being able to see your character matters a lot. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to choose Lollafell as cute as they are and as much as my loyalty stands with them. Um, so, I'm probably... See, and I don't want to go basic human. I like my elf classes, but I'm thinking about starting tank on this, and for a good reason. Um, so I'm probably going to go with the Roganin as my starting character. Um, or I'm not probably, or, well, see, and now I want to go as a dragon person too. I don't know. It's so hard to choose. Like the characters are really cool. I, I love the, the character creation they did with this game. Like it's so in depth and it's really cool. Um, and the only downside is, is so if you want to change your race later on, I think when you first buy the game, I th it, don't don't quote me here. I think you get one cho one or one chance to change your race or your character before you have to go into the Final Fantasy store online and buy um, an item that will be sent to your in-game uh, mailbox that you're allowed to change. And I'm I don't want to have to do that. So I'm trying to make the decision right off the bat as hard as it is sometimes to, uh, yeah, to make that decision. So, oh, another thing, I do play this game with a, a remote. It is a lot easier. Um, for character creation, I'm going to use mouse and keyboard, but the game just plays smoother for me personally with a controller. Um, but I play on PC and I can play it as both. I can play both. I just find it easier for me to play on controller. So... I'm thinking I can go as a little Playboy bunny man. Um, but I'm really thinking, or a cat guy, because, you know, cat guys, that's that's actually a thing with Final Fantasy. I don't know what it is with the cat people. They're really big in Final Fantasy. Mark my words, as we start running around, you will see a lot of cat people. So, anyways, I think I'm going to go Rogan in just because I'm going to start as a tank. So... You'll notice um, clans. There's different clans with uh, with each race. So you see with the clan, there's a wildwood, there's a dark wit, or dark wit, yeah, or dusk wit, sorry. Um, just like the Makote, mm -hmm. there's, di there's different clans for each one. Um, and if you look in the top left corner, you'll notice it actually affects their base stats. So you'll notice with the Keeper of the Moon, Makode, you have a 19 strength, higher dexterity, and 18 vitality. Now, you look at the Seeker of the Sun, you have higher strength, higher dex, higher vitality. So these characters would make initially a stronger tank class or um, ranger or archer or something like that, whereas a Keepers of the Moon would make a better mage because you see their intelligence and their mind stats are a little bit higher than a seeker of the sun. Not to say that, you know, that should deter you from, you know, picking one over the other because of the base stats that really doesn't affect it a whole lot. Um, but it does make a minute difference just so that's something, if you play this to keep in mind, it does affect it just a hair. Um, so with the Rogadin, we got to pick our clan. Um, I personally like the way this guy looks better. Um, but we can adjust the uh, skin tone later on. But since we're going um, tank build starting, because that's the thing. That's another thing that I should mention. So you can play every class from healer, tank, DPS. It doesn't matter. You can play all of them. When you pick a race and you pick your class, you're not locked in. To, or, well, you're locked into your race unless you change it by with the item. Um, but your class is as far as like, um, a warrior or a healer, whatever you play all of them. So that initial starting stat doesn't matter quite as much. It will, it, it affects you a little bit in the beginning, just because you don't have access to switching classes. I believe until level 15 of like, you have to complete like the level 15, um, quest for your, um, your class your class quest. You have to finish the level 15 class quest in order to unlock multi-class. Um, now, 
Another thing is you unlock the ability. So like you start as a warrior, right? Oh, I'm sorry, not a warrior, a uh, a knight. What is it? No, a gladiator. Sorry, that's what it is. You start as a gladiator, which is actually what we're going to be starting as. Um, you start as a gladiator, and you can to unlock paladin, which is the upgrade to gladiator. You actually have to go and unlock the. Um, it's not white mage. It's the conjurer. Conjurer, yes, the conjurer class, which is a healer class. But you get gladiator to level 30 and you get conjure to level 15 and that unlocks the ability to do the class cl class quest for the gladiator which will unlock paladin which paladin is a tank healer it's kind of a mix between the two so a lot of these classes you'll be able to kind of mix um like to unlock summoner for example which is a scholar or no scholars healer it's a uh it's been a while but anyways, you use like Black Mage and then the um, Summoner, or the, it's not Summoner, but it's there's another class that you mix together and it creates a Summoner. Uh, we'll we'll kind of dive into that later as we're doing stuff. But anyways, let's let's get into this character creation here. So I want to be super tall. I want to tower above everybody. I want to be very visible. I want to be chiseled. We're gonna look. Uh, let's see, small clothes. Yeah, we're ripped, looking jacked. Or we can go, yeah, no definition or super chiseled. We're going to be that really buff big dude, because why not? Um, Face, I actually kind of like his facial structure the way it is. I think we're going to leave that as just kind of initial starting. Um, Now let's see here. We're going to go more of a skin. Actually, let's, uh, yeah, so you can change the time of day to as your, sir, oh, I actually haven't done this yet. Whoa, okay, no, 200%, apply. No? Okay, no. Apply. Yeah, I think that works the way it is. Um, I actually, high-end laptop, that's funny. Max settings, baby. We play on a uh, a system that should have no problem running this on max settings. So it doesn't look like it made too much of a graphical difference right now, but I'm sure we'll see it later. Hairstyles. All the hairstyles. Um, Let's see. Let's pick something. I like that. That looks, that looks nice. <laughs> there you go, boys. Elvis Presley, as I would call that. That's hilarious. I love it. There's so like like I said, the character creation in this game is top notch. Love the character creation. Uh I actually kind of dig that. We'll go with that. Hair color. So this is really cool. You can actually do highlights. So I like the black. Let's see if I can actually. I want to find somewhere where the lighting's a little bit better. There we go. That's actually that's pretty decent. How? Yeah, nah. I think that. No, oh, actually, kind of like that the best. So, uh, I don't want to give any spoilers away yet, but just take note of these uh, environmental backgrounds. See if you notice anything later. So anyways, like, look how far you can zoom in on that. Like, the attention to detail here. Uh, I do like the red highlights. I think that looks pretty sick. That's what we're going to go with. Um, I'm honestly not going to get too crazy because I don't want to spend too much time doing this. Um, as far as character creation goes, I'm not going to get too crazy into it. Because you can actually change some of this stuff later. So, I like I said, I'm not going to get too crazy into it. I'm just going to kind of speed through it. You're more than welcome to. Like I said, if you play the game or want to know more, there's people that do all this stuff and character creations you can look into. So, 
Um, we gotta. We, that's the one thing we have to pick a fitting voice for this guy. I actually like that one. I don't know about that one. All right, so I like number one. Four and five sound the same. Seven and eight sound the same. I'm going with one. I like one. All right. So, like I said, pretty simple. I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to get too crazy with the character creation. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time with it. All right. You can pick the birthday. Um, I'm just, Yeah, cool. Um, this selection has no effect on gameplay, so you can... I'm not going to get too detailed into this either. Um, just pick one and... Yeah. So, Disciples of Magic. Conjure, that is your white mage healer. Thermaturge, this is your black mage. Black mage, which is a spellcaster. Arcanist, that's what I was thinking of. Arcanist and, um, not black mage, thermaturge. So you get this one to level 30, this one to level uh, 15, you unlock the summoner. That's what I was trying to think of. I couldn't remember this name. But yeah, so your white mage, black mage, your summoner or scholar is actually what this turns into. This one turns into two based off if you have white mage or the healer and the DPS class. This one turns into two different classes. Um, gladiator, this is actually the close for the paladin. So this is what we're going to be starting as. Uh, pugilist is your hand-to-hand -hand combat, if you know what a pugilist is. Uh, Marauder is basically a warrior, um, kind of like the gladiator, but the marauder is going to be more DPS based. Um, and a tank DPS versus gladiator is more of a tank healer. Uh, Lancer turns into the dragoon, which is the gear you see here. Archer, which turns into the bard, which is what you see here. So these are the starting classes. Um, kind of just a simple rundown of all of them. So, depending on what you pick, if you look down in the bottom left corner, you see Gladiator, you see Ulda down at the bottom. That's actually the starting city that you start in. There's three different ones. So, Pugilist, Gladiator, and the Thermaturge all start in Ulda. The Arcanist, the Lancer, uh, no, the Marauder, yeah. Oh, Pugilist too, yeah. So the Marauder and the Arcanist are the two that start in Limza Lomenza. And then you have the Conjurer, the Archer, and the Lancer all start in Gridania. Gridania is basically like a forest city. Um, Ulda is like a desert city. And then Limza Lomenza is like a ocean city. So you get to visit them all later on. Don't Pick your class based off of where you want to start. It doesn't really matter. There's really no pros or cons. Play what you want to play. Because you'll be able to go everywhere and experience everything. All the classes. All the locations. So don't be discouraged. <laughs> Pink Somo. Yeah, going big buff daddy to start. Yes, sir. That's how we're doing it. But yeah, uh, definitely uh, you have selected Excalibur as your starting world. Yes, I am proceeding. 
forename and surname. So I am going with Twisted Fate is my character name. <laughs> Big buff daddy to start. Yep. Character name cannot be used. Okay. Uh, let's see. If you couldn't tell, I play League of Legends a little bit too. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot. Let's see if we can find a decent Wanna Maga Seven Seven Seven. That's it. Let's see if we can get a somewhat legible name here from the random name generator. Like, I don't understand some of the... Wazenbrum? Yeah, no. Okay, no. Okay. Let's see... Let's see if this one works. Love Soul Eater. Ah... Uh -huh. Uh, let's try it the other way around. Damn it! Yep, character said no. He's grunting at me. <laughs> Welcome to chat, guys. Hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, we're apparently trying to figure out a name for our character, which this is apparently going to be harder than I thought it was going to be. So... Hum... There is actually, hold on, let's, let's see if, uh, I, I know they have a name generator. Let's see if I can get, get this website to, uh, pop me up. Let's see, Roganin. Let's see if I can get it to generate. Uh, Nimblebrook. Let's see if that one. Which is so so kind of against our character, but let's see, Nimblebrook. All right, we. <laughs> hey, he's happy too. Nimblebrook. All right. Well, I guess that's uh, that's the character name. That's actually quite funny. All right. Here we go. There should be a cutscene here. I'm gonna let you guys watch it. If it does start with like I believe it should, I'm gonna mute my mic. Oh, or the world is full. Cool. Player Q seventeen. I thought we were going to be able to uh, jump right in. Usually the character cues aren't too bad. <laughs> hey, I I play a little bit of everything, so I don't know. I like League. League's fun. Just roll your head on the keyboard. At this oh, my God. Yeah, there you go. That's actually not a bad idea. Sorry, uh, there is a little bit of a stream delay. I don't know why. I've actually gone into the settings and tried adjusting them. I'm about to shut up and let y'all listen to this. Um, I don't know what's up with the stream delay. I've changed it, and I don't know. But I'll be back with you guys after the cutscene. Yeah. 
So on the note, if you're uh, roll your head on the keyboard, a lot of those randomly generated Rogan and names looked like somebody rolled their face on that keyboard. Just saying. Hey, hey, you. Y'all right, lad? <laughs> I had to throw some accents on these. You were moaning something fierce for a while there. Feeling the effects of the Aether, I reckon. You'll get used to it, though. Don't worry. Like I said, some of the stuff is voice acted. Anything that's not, I'm going to try to read it out loud for you guys. Just to kind of build the immersion into it. Or help with the immersion, I guess. You there! Halt! What's all this about? Inspection. Men, search the carriage. I'm just an honest peddler, friend. So, uh, don't be too disappointed if you don't find nothing, eh? No shade down, just some teehee. I feel it. I I get I get that. Anytime I tell people I play league, but it is what it is. I I appreciate it. Be bearing with me with the delay. I do apologize. It just it will delay my responses to y'all's chat, so I apologize. Mind your tongue, old man. Least I cut it out. Sir, look! Some nuss. Honest peddler, was it? Since when do honest peddlers deal in prohibited herbs? You're in a lot of trouble, old man. You'll rot in a dungeon till the end of your days. Unless you can afford the fine. Heh. <laughs> Business as usual. Ah! Amalja! Amalja! Two arms! Two arms! Seven helds! Consider this a warning. Now go, all of you! That kind of excitement ain't good for the heart. You be careful around them brass blades, lad. Bastards will have your shirt off for your back if they fancy it. Like common bandits they are, only less honest. Thank gods for sending some beastmen to the rescue, eh? Hey, seeing as we still got a long ride ahead, you mind keeping me company till we arrive? Them youngins don't much care for conversation, see. Brint's the name, and Pedalin's me trade. And judging by your unusual garments, I'll wager you're one of them new adventurers. Why, how did you know? I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking 
fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean, ain't no secret that adventuring's a risky business these days, especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? Hmm. To gain power. Power, as in, er, uh, power to do good? Like protecting the weak and fighting for what's right and all that, eh? I thought that's what you meant. Well, adventure, adventurers do get up to a lot of fighting, that's for sure. You'll never be short on a chance to polish your warcraft in the adventuring business. Yeah, I love the characters in League. Breaking character here. Um, the community, highly toxic. Like, streaming League? I don't know. I've got a couple of videos on League. as we're, We actually have a series going on right now uh, with uh, Rank Climb on League. So, you'll see that. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it, man. Um, yeah, I. That's it's part of it. So... But yeah, no, League, very toxic. Characters are awesome. Love League. Um, and yeah, I, I'm glad you like it. Uh, that's kind of the point of me doing it. I really hope that it does help with the immersion and all that. So I appreciate it. When you arrive in town, you best enroll at the Adventurers Guild. They'll set you on the right path. And it wouldn't hurt to join a guild neither. Old Dawes, home, of, home to a few. So if you fancy learning how to fight with a sword... Your fists or even spells, you should think about seeking one out. Just remember, though, there are more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no point, or ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. By the by, is this your first trip to Old Dog? For for this sake, we'll say yes, even though it is not. Is it? Well then, let this journey... D eh, yeah, the internet tell you ins and outs of your destination. Well, Dawes ruled by the Sultana is name in name, but most folk now, the syndicate holds all the real power. Them and their monstrous cronies would happily get rid of her grace altogether. But that wouldn't happen while she still commands the loyalty of the royalists. 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 Good lord. And the royalists are nothing if not loyal. The factions have long fought over power, throwing the weight of their wealth against each other. And they show no signs of stopping. Of course, the lizardmen, that's the Almolja, couldn't care less about the old Don politics. They have their own interests, see. And they ain't afraid to use force to serve them. They say war is a gift to peddlers. Need breed and profit. And though it shames me to say it, I'm inclined to agree. Ah, at long last, behold, Oda, jewel of Thalanen, where folk turn sand into gold. Deep in the sun-baked south, surrounded by the shifting sands of an endless desert, she rises. A solitary rose amidst the dust and rock, a symbol of defiance. Even with the coming of the seventh umbral era, Hope springs eternal for the mongers and merchants who vie for lost fortunes in this bustling oasis. As the twin faces of Nold Thal maintain their vigil over all that has been and shall be, the present proffers a brave soul. I could totally see the uh, voice actor being Jiraiya from Naruto. One could totally see that. Could mark the beginning of a new era of prosperity for the realm. Question: Have you played? 
Have you or or do you currently play Final Fantasy? Ah, here's where we part lays, lad. I'm off to the markets to deliver me wares. Then it's onto the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this. By way of thanks for putting up with me, Parathel. You never, you never did tell me your name, though. Hey, but here's an idea. Become the sort of storied persona I can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. Well, hey, I, that's awesome that, you know, out of all, all people you could be May watching right now that play Final Fantasy, I appreciate it. They kindle the flames which burn within us all. For by fire are we reborn. So for all those that watch, that are watching that don't know, so Final Fantasy originally was called a Realm, or is still a Realm Reborn. And so that's kind of where that narration comes from, the Forged in Fire Reborn. It's... Uh, the original game, when it first came out, was called Final Fantasy A Realm Reborn. And also, Pink Sumo, I have actually... <laughs> I hate to say this because it kind of sucks. But I've played through the intro of this game probably five times, at least. Just because I like I enjoy the beginnings of this game so much. Um, I think I stopped playing right before Shadowbringers came out. I have not played through that expansion pack yet. Yes, I was. Uh, I started playing this game when it initially first came out on uh, PS4. Was whenever I first started playing this game. Oi, adventurer! Over here! Hey, I mean you! Fresh off the carriage by any chance? Hey, how can I tell? Heh. <laughs> I haven't. No, I haven't played since Shadowbringers. Name's Wyman, and me business is knowing. Every bugger's, every bugger's else's. Now then, what if I offer you some invaluable advice by way of welcome to our fair city? Free of charge? Even just this once, like. <laughs> I appreciate it, I appreciate it. Um, no, I love this game, and there's something about it, it brings me back. Like, I've actually been wanting to jump back into this game for quite some time now. Um... And starting up this YouTube channel and uh, doing all this, it's just something that, like, it's something that I can play that kind of brings me back to my roots of gaming when I was younger that I just really enjoy. And this game just, it has a lot of content, it's got a lot of action, and it's something that I can passionately play and make good content with. So I'm hoping that that transfers into, you know, my content, my passion. So, we'll see. Now then, what if I was to offer you some invaluable... Oh, no, I already read that. We'll continue. All right, we finally get to move. Welcome to Ulda, the shining beacon of prosperity rising from the deserts of Thenelon. Please select the control scheme you wish to use. Uh, I am using Gamepad. Um, my main character, you know what, give me just a second. Let me, let me pull up my web browser real quick. I'll, uh, pull it over. Let me see here. I will show you. I don't, my, okay, so my original character, um, I don't have access to anymore, unfortunately, because my... So when I first originally started playing, my dad actually was the one who paid for all of it, and he had the account. And I appreciate it, man. I, I really appreciate that. Uh, that means a lot to me. Um, so this is... We'll pop this up. So this is my other character that I have on this account, like the current... Um, since I... So I played for probably about two or three years 
um, originally when the f- game first came out to console. Um, and then after that, I took a good break for probably a year or two, maybe three, took a break in between, and then uh, started back over. And this is my character. I have a Rogan in on Hell's Guard. Um, but yeah, I, I also play as a Rogan in there. I was a dragon person for a little while. Um, but yeah, so I main white mage. I main healers is my main class. I do a lot of crafting. As you can tell, I have a maxed out Fisher, level 80. Um, and yeah, so this is kind of what I played. Um, so when I played on my other character, like when I originally first started playing, I had everything like before they raised the level cap from 50. That's when I originally played was when the level cap was actually 50. Um, and I had everything maxed out at 50. Now, like I said, unfortunately, the account that I originally played on with PS4 um, got lost because I didn't have that account information and my dad no longer has that information. So I wasn't able to transfer all that data from PS4 to PC when I started playing on PC. So unfortunately, that character's lost. Um, I do, however, let's see here. I might actually be able to... Let's uh here. We'll do something real quick. I'll be able to I'll pull up my original character real quick cuz I remember um I remember my uh character. So, oh, no, go back. I actually remember my original character name. So, Ah, rip to the OG. That's so sad. Maining a healer, though. <laughs> hey, DPS has its own little... You have to dodge shit. It, it, it's okay. I get it. Uh, It can be a little tough. Uh, Healers are a little tough because we get the most hate. If you die in a dungeon, it's the healer's fault 90% of the time. We catch 90% of the blame. So I totally get it. Um, Let me see... Player, where I want to search a character. I don't know why it's on that Com- character. Uh, da, 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 da. Where's the? So we have. Where's the search bar? New search. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Data center was on Goblin. Where's Goblin at? goblin because this was the original server i used to play on we'll see this shoot maybe uh i don't don't remember oh i'm trying to remember my i know ninja monkey was like my oh what was my name Oh, I remember now. I remember our our name on there was Blackstone. Was the was the last name? Uh, da, da, da. So, because I played as a Lalafell. Now you got me kind of curious. I want to see if I can find my old my old character. Oh, we're in the L's. Okay, so we need to go. Let's go back one. Lil is in Blackstone. There it is. This is my OG character right here. Wait, hold on. Well, I thought it was. 50 and everything well okay i forget so like i said this was before i quit playing before all the expansions on this account so all the new classes like astrologian i haven't seen sage that's actually new to me um but yeah i had a lot of <laughs> well like i explained in the character creation the only reason i didn't pick a lala fell this time is because if you know anything about playing lala is when you get into dungeons, trying to see them little shits is damn near impossible. So, yeah, it was a nightmare. 
but yeah, no, this is actually my OG account right here. This is my OG character. Um, I started as I started as a white mage on this character. Um, how how does Sage compare to Scholar and White Mage? I've played a little Astrologian, but not a whole lot. But I'm kind of curious now. Um, I've played like the original original Final Fantasies, like Final Fantasy three and stuff like that, where they had the classes. I don't remember if Sage was one of those. I think it was. Um, so I don't know. I'm curious how Sage is played in uh, 14. But anyways, let's jump back into it. Continue on. But yeah, that's uh, that's my original character. So. Alright. Oh, how long it has been since... Oh, I'm sorry. You, you want me to talk to you. I'm gonna skip through some of the initial stuff just because I've played before and I know. Right, so, we'll keep... Get rid of that. I don't need that right now. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Trying to remember some of the controls. I'll have to... Getting main white mage, but after getting sage, she mains that now. So I assume it's a very nice transfer in comparison. I've played very little of white mage, sadly. Fair enough. Like I said, healers aren't for everybody. One of the main reasons, actually, I was talking about it earlier, that I'm starting as a gladiator is for Q times early game. Because starter dungeons... Because I know a lot of people probably aren't playing starter content right now or like beginner content so i want to try to get be able to queue time to keep you know just content rolling so let's uh talk to this guy real quick wyman let's accept your quest what have you got for ye adventurer tis plain to anyone with eyes that you don't know your way around here if i let you wandering off down the nearest dark alley you're certain to get mugged or worse and i don't want that on my conscience so, before you do anything else, you'll want to head over to the Quicksand and speak with Momadi. She is the Master of Ventures Guild, and she can set you on the right path. Just take those steps over, the, over yonder and pass through the double doors. You'll find her inside. And that's as much as you're getting for free. Good luck with the adventure and adventurer. Cheap bastard. <laughs> All right, you have begun a quest. Use the duty list to help you complete your task. All right, so, like I said, I I remember a lot of this pretty... You know, keep it on, like, better get a bath started and make dinner before getting into a dungeon. Yeah, no, I, I remember. I totally remember. That's why, like I said, I'm not... We're gonna... We're gonna play as a tank. I was gonna go white mage, but for purposes of character... I wanted to, uh, I want. I'm a big boy, so I wanted to start as a as a tank. I felt I felt that it was more fitting to the character. Uh, okay. I was like, I have to remember how to jump again. All right. Yep. I know. Oh, Mama D. Why, hello there! Who might you be? If you're looking to join the Adventurers Guild, you've come to the right place! My name's Momadi, and I own this fine establishment, if it please you. I also manage the Adventurers Guild here in Old Orr. So if you say that looking after green adventurers like yourself is my vocation, then lucky for you, that is. It is. Without someone like me to steer you right, you'd soon find yourself out to the middle of nowhere, caught up in business you don't understand. <laughs> Nimble Brook is made for the tank roll. <laughs> totally. And, and the name is kind of funny because Nimble, Tank, 
I, I don't know. I it was it was something that caught my eye, and I I just find it funny. It's kind of contradictory, if you will, but I like it. It works. Like our conflict with the emulsion, for example. They've been plaguing this sultan for nigh on oh forever now. Then they took only an empire. No one can say for sure what they're plotting these days, only that they are. And I'm sorry, my voice acting for Mummy is probably gonna be a little off. But, you know, you gotta have different voices for each character, right? Hey, the people drink and make merry, but underneath it all, there's no worry. Worry and lingering feeling of loss. A little wonder, it's scarce been five years since the lesser moon cracked. Open like a giant egg, releasing an abomination intent on turning a realm into an eighth hell. So much was lost in the blink of an eye, twas like the end of the world had come at last. But things been getting, beginning to get foggy. Everyone's got their own version of what happens next, some of them two or three. You think people would remember something like that, but the fact is, they don't. Nobody does. <laughs> and here it comes. Oh, okay. Oh, you're a row? <laughs> I like Rogadins. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's much appreciated. There's one thing survivors agree on, though. The part played by a band of adventurers who laid down their lives for a realm that wasn't their own. They fought valiantly, and like so many others, they never returned. Deeds worth remembering. I'm sure you'll agree. It's just a shame that our recollections of those brave heroes are just are jumbled as those of the calamity itself. Whenever we try to recall their faces to mind, it's like they're standing between us and a midday sun, permanently silhouetted. I'll bet the sound that sounds poetic to you, doesn't it? Well, it's not. It's bloody infuriating. But even if we can't remember them, we'll not let them be forgotten, and so we'll call them warriors of light. They'll forever stand as a shining example of what adventurers can achieve. That's why I welcome new arrivals like yourself to our fair city. All I can ask is that you lend a helping hand and try to leave Oldar in a better state than you found her. If you can promise that, I'll be happy to let you join the guild. Why do I look high? Nibblebrook, lay off. Lay off of the broccoli, my guy. Your eyes are really red. All right, then. Promise the prophets now. I'm counting on your help to put the past behind us. We need people working and spending and buckering like the old days. And a happy, prosperous old doll means more business for the quicksand, too. Any road, let's make this official. Go ahead and write your name in the register, neat as you can. I mean, yeah, no. Gotta stay nimble. Gotta stay nimble. Nimblebrook. Well, I mean, that charming name. Just rolls off the tongue, it does. <laughs> All right, Mr. Brook. On behalf of the Adventurers Guild, I officially... Please, sir, be merciful. Twelve's my witness, I swear to you. I'll bring you your money. In the East, it is said even the merciful gods might be driven vengeance if thrice blispen... Blasphemied. Oh, thrice blasphemied. Be grateful you were given a fourth chance to offend, you two. Attend to this scum. No, please, mercy. Well, ain't that a sorry sight, nor an uncommon one, if I'm honest. Don't worry, though. If you work hard, I doubt you'll end up like him. <laughs> Just the same, if you ever need a bit of advice about one thing or another, pay me a visit. 
Just don't go bothering me every time you stub your bloody toe. All right? Of course, I do enjoy hearing tell of a gentleman's woes within the woman folk from time to time. Any road, welcome to our door, Nimble. Take a moment to catch your breath, and I'll teach you a little bit about our fair city. Oh, I love Mama D. All right, our first little bit of experience and our uh, little bit of gold. This conducts or concludes the introductory to the game tutorial. You have taken the first steps as an adventurer to the city of Old Da. Listen well to the wisdom of Mama D Mama Modi, and then go forth and discover the incredible adventure that awaits you. Classic fanfare Final Fantasy. I love it. All right, so we did get a new skill, uh, Fight or Flight, which I believe increases our attack speed. Um, let's look character real quick. Attributes, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Let's see here. I gotta remember, actions and traits. All right, so, uh, delivers, let's see, we'll do this, oh, nope. Delivers an attack with a potency of 150. Instant cast, recast every two and a half seconds. Uh, fight or flight increases damage dealt by 25%. Okay, cool. I, I will have to remember what some of these skills do, unfortunately. It's been a while. Alright, so before we begin the new... Uh, or the next quest, quick banyo break. I'll be right back in about five seconds and we'll uh, jump back into this. Give me just a moment.
Alrighty. Let's switch it back. Boy! Alright. Appreciate the patience. We are back. Let's have some more fun. Alrighty. So let's see here. Oh, I guess I... Oh, I clicked out of the game. I actually need... Man, I really need to get me a stream deck so that I can switch in, in and out of stuff. Let me... Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Let me... Where? System configuration. There we go. Uh, I'm going to switch this to this window. So that way I can get between and it's not messing up my stuff. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. All right. Momody, what do you got for me? Momody, the proprietress of the quicksand wants you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventuring. Honestly, and as we go through this Let's Play, I really hope that it helps new people that are coming to the game. Because I know there's still an inflow of new people, or even returning people that started over or whatever. I hope this can help them kind of get into it and, I don't know. Or just for sheer um, entertainment value. I mean, either way. Before you go charging off, fight to your fortune. I have a few basic tasks I'd like you to perform so as to help you know the, get to know the place. First of all, I want you to visit the Aetherite Plaza. To get there, head west from here till you reach the Emerald Avenue. Then look to the north. You should see a giant floating crystal called an Aetherite. If, you weren't for, if it weren't for Aetherites, traveling across around Eorzea would be a damn sight for more troublesome than it is. Of course, you still need to attune to them before you can use them. So be sure that you do that with the one in the plaza. You ever attuned with an Aetherite before, Nimble? If not, just lay your hand on the thing, and you'll see what I mean. When you've done that, I want you to play visit to the Gladiator's Guild over in the Colosseum. Assuming that sword ain't just for show, you might consider training there. And finally, I want you to visit the Sapphire Avenue Exchange over on the steps of Thal. Goods from all across Eorzea and beyond turn up there every day. You'll have no trouble finding armor, weapons, or anything else a fledging adventurer like yourself might need. Um, Heaven's Ward. I, I did play through Heaven's Ward. Um, so on my other character, the one that I have on, um, I don't know, my other Roganin that I have, um, I believe, if I remember correctly, I'm into... The Heaven's Ward expansion is what I'm working on now, storyline-wise. Um, I, if I remember correctly, I'm trying to reach a certain level, or there, there's something that I have to do to continue in the main storyline. Um, but I'm a good ways into Heaven's Ward um, with that character. Um, Endwalker, yeah. I, see, I, don't spoil it for me because I haven't gotten there yet. But I will say that. The storyline of this game is super awesome. Like, the attention to detail and just everything about this game is super sick. Like, the, Square Enix did a phenomenal job on this, just like all Final Fantasies. Like, me personally, I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan. Um, I've played through Final Fantasy 3, which is probably one of my favorites, just because of the ability to switch classes. Kind of like on 14, how you can switch roles or jobs. Um uh is hands down one of my favorite uh i love final fantasy 7 i think that's a classic everybody enjoys um but yeah no big final fantasy fan love it and appreciate the no spoilers you might say that everything's for sale here in old dog as long as you've got the gill just make sure you don't pay more than you ought to nimble there's plenty as as won't scruple and swindle unsuspecting foreigners like yourself Especially if they think no one's looking out for their best interests. Which is why I'm giving you this letter. When you visit the exchange, find a gentleman named Sir Cesargoa. Or Cesaroga? Yeah. And give it to him. He'll be happy to tell you about the markets once he's read it. In short then, visit the Aetherite Plaza, Gladiator's Guild, and the Sapphire, Sapphire Avenue Exchange. Simple. Oh, before you go, a word of advice. While there are more than a few unsavory characters out there who you'll want to try to take advantage of you, there are also some honest-to-goodness problems 
or there's some with honest to good problems who would should consider offering help in hand to. A lot, a lot of folk are lured to the city by promises of wealth and power. What many of them fail to realize is that instead of chasing after Gil in the moment they get there, here, they ought to be making friends. Oh. Uh oh. I actually think my batteries for my remote are dying. That's most unfortunate. I might have to switch those. Because my remote keeps disconnecting. Would it be known that you're willing to give us as much as you get, and opportunities will come to come your way? I definitely feel that 14 kind of brings, and so also, I am familiar, I don't know if you're familiar with Final Fantasy, I believe it was 10. 10 was the first one that they originally made online like this, um, and my dad actually used to play that one a lot when I was younger, um, but as far as 14, um, in comparison to a lot of the other games, I feel like it kind of pulls all of that into one big online game because you have materia you have like materia from final fantasy 7 i appreciate that molly uh it's amazing how many different voices i can have right um the materia from final fantasy 7 the jobs from like final fantasy 3 um it just it does a really good job with pulling all that to get together as well as creating its own unique narrative which i really enjoy um, but it definitely has a nostalgic feel to it, to it, like you say, um, and definitely feels, it feels like a Final Fantasy game, which is awesome. They did a really good job with it and all the expansions that they brought to it. Um, for instance, uh, this wasn't an expansion, but, uh, Crystal Tower, for example, uh, Crystal Tower was a Final Fantasy three thing. Um, the final boss that you fight in Final Fantasy three to beat the game is in Crystal Tower. So it's kind of cool how they pull aspects from all the Final Fantasy games and pull it into something like this. Speaking of which, you should speak with the smith over yonder. Those lads always have some good advice for up-and-coming adventurers. Otherwise, that's about it for me. It's past time you got going. Oh, and let me know when you finish, will you? That way I don't spend my days worrying about that you're down to your small clothes without guilt to your name. I will say the voice acting does add quite a bit of uh, time to the content. As much as I would love to just kind of blaze through it and get back into this, I do feel like uh, it just it adds to the content. It adds to the immersion, and I think it's better that I do the voicing for it, especially for the parts that don't have it. It just it builds character. All right, so we got our oh that that actually explains. I was noticing earlier that it seemed like my controller was a little delayed. That's probably in due to the fact that my controller was dying. Um, there we go. We'll, we'll do that so that way it makes it easier to run. Alright, so the Aetherite Crystal. Let me get my bearings here. Okay. So the one that she's talking about, I believe, was the one over here. The big one. Really? Yeah, no, uh, Final Fantasy XIV was a good one. Uh, it's definitely a great introduction to it, and like I said, it definitely does encompass a lot of original Final Fantasy. They do pull a lot of those aspects from the originals. Um, but if you're a big fan of thirteen or fourteen, I would definitely recommend uh, definitely recommend you look into some of the other ones at some point. Um, I personally have not played the new Final Fantasy VII remakes. But that's definitely on my list of games to try here soon. Hail, adventurer! You ha might you have come at the behest of Miss Mummy of the Quicksand. Ha! <laughs> <A> little. <laughs> look a little. Look a little. <laughs> Who's this tiny little bastard? Excellent. Which brings us to the matter of the attunement fee. That will be 100,000 gil, if you please, sir. 100,000 gil? 
<laughs> My apologies, but I do relish the opportunity to make that jest. And look on your face was absolutely priceless. Ah, but in fact, that you were so easily deceived suggests to me that you were unfamiliar with the use of aetherites. Allow me to explain. <laughs> this is the first one. Unfortunately, so the first part of Final Fantasy VII Remake that they made is now on PC. The newest one, I believe, is uh, console exclusive to PS5. So unfortunately, I don't have access to that one yet because I only play PC. And I'm glad, Molly, I'm glad that, uh, I'm glad that uh, pulls you in. And it's so nice to have my wife in here chatting up with us. I appreciate that, Momo. And yes, he is so tiny compared to my giant uh, nimbleness. <laughs> These crystalline agglomerations tapped into the ethereal energies and are primarily used as a means to travel swiftly from one place to another. Perchance you have heard of the return and teleport. Well, these transportation spells make direct use of the aetherites and their connection to the flow of aether. Given that there is an aetherite crystal in almost every corner of Aerzia, any adventurer with a mind to explore the realm will wish to seek out and attune himself to each and every one. But even if, you're, if you have no intention of wandering beyond the Sultanate's borders... It would pr be prudent for you to attune yourself to any aetherites you encounter from now on. I pray you found that informative. Should you wish to learn more about aetherites or transportation magic, I shall be happy to answer your questions. Well, I appreciate that little tiny fellow. How nice of you. You attuned to aetherite. You are now able to use the return spell. Alright, real quick, I apologize. I know I just took a short little detour. I need to go grab more batteries for my remote real quick, and we'll continue on. I don't want my remote dying midway through a fight or something. Okie dokie. Hot swap batteries real quick. Unfortunately, I do use an Xbox controller to play. And to punt that little guy. <laughs> Being a Rogadin, I could probably do that. But hey, we gotta be nice to our little fellows. Especially being a Lala Fell player myself. I do have a, a small bit of respect for my Lala's. All right, let us, I'm going to go check my mailbox real quick since I haven't played in a while. Let's see if I have any, uh, any items in my mailbox. Um, where is, I got to remember. Oh yeah, here it is. There's a Moogle. Oh, wait. No, that's not what I'm looking for. I thought the Mog was... Am I talking to the wrong one? Hmm. Ah, I'm trying to remember... Ah, oh, there it is. Now I remember. Okay. I was trying to remember where the stupid, uh... Yeah, I was trying to remember where the stupid Mog was here in Old Isle.
There he is. Let's see if I have any uh, items in here. There is some stuff I'll skip just because I don't feel like reading all of it. It is quite a bit, so. All right. Set of adventure attire. Well, thank you. I do have some stuff from uh, just from being subscribed to. Yes, I know. All right, cool. I figured we'd collect that. Let me see armory chest. So that actually gives us a little bit of a bonus. Let's throw that on. Fancy. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't figure any of these other ones would. They actually kind of lower it. Yeah, and that's the thing. Uh, like you said, a lot of it is cushion, so I'm not going to be too, too strict on myself about reading everything. Um, you know what? Till we actually get. Oh yeah, Cloud Strife. Let's go, all you Final Fantasy VII fans out there. There's the Cloud Strife outfit. Um, but since it's not too important to our stats right now. I like that. We're going to rock that jacket with, yep, the black gloves. I like the lion heart. Strife boots. Ring of fortitude. Let's equip that. All right. Let's see real quick what our, we got to hide the headgear because the headgear does not match the fit, man. Anybody who's played Final Fantasy XIV long enough knows the outfit always matters. I like that they introduced the augments to where you can, like, you know, you can have all your main gear on, but you can augment the character or the item looks to, you know, say you have an outfit that you really like, you can augment it. Or you have a weapon that looks really cool that you like more than another one. It, you know, without affecting the stats, so... Not me. <laughs> I told. That's what I've been laughing at. Nimble, and he's he's probably, you know, being a rogue, and he's probably very clunky. So, do I have other? No, man. I know there was a XP ring. I I think you used to get that back in the day, but you know, I don't see that anymore, which kind of sucks because that definitely helps early on. But I forget how you get that XP ring. But anyways, yeah, there we go. A little bit of a uh, look fancy with our little sword. All right, so we did. We'll actually, we'll go visit the uh, the markets first, and then we'll go to the Gladiators Guild. But we attuned to the Aetherite Crystal, so let's run over here. Did they get rid of belts? Holy shit! They did! Yes! I didn't even realize that. I totally overlooked that. Did they incorporate the stats into the pants or something ah i didn't real. i i'm dude i'm glad you said something i just realized that they got rid of belts yeah i used to play when they had belts that's crazy when did they get rid of that actually the bigger question is why did they get rid of that Oh, the good old market. Love the market. Um, I actually need to turn up my s sensitivities real quick. Well, if the stats disappeared, they would have had to have... Um, 
they would have had to have adjusted quite a bit if they just removed it. Especially, like, you know, like, I don't know, damage stuff and whatnot. So they would have had to have definitely adjusted quite a bit if they just removed it altogether. Alright, no, I need rotation speed. Did they get rid of it at the start of Endwalker? I mean, to be fair, they definitely didn't, like, I don't know, I, you're not wrong. They didn't... Uh, I need... Ah, eh, screw it. I'll live with it. I, I would like for the... stuff to turn faster, but... Whoops. I want the... Where the heck? I need it to turn faster. Hmm. That, that would make more sense, especially if they're getting rid of an item altogether, because, I mean, they did, especially as you got higher into the game, or, like, later into the game, I mean, the stats definitely, like, it made somewhat of a difference. So, I they, they had to have... Uh, spreading it out makes sense to me, that they would have increased it. I, I'll probably notice it a little bit more as we get more into the game. Um... Hmm. Well, you have stick sensitivity, but I'm not seeing... Why am I not... Oh, you know what? Let's apply. Close this. It might be... Character configuration? Yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. There we go. Camera speed. Let's see if that helps. Uh, that actually still feels a little slow. We'll just turn that all the way up. Oh yeah. That's much better. There we go. Alright. And you are... Who? Oh. A newly come adventurer, but of course, yes, I'm Serzagoa. What can I do for you? Ah, you would have me teach you the ways of the marketplace. Very wise, as for my fee? What? You expect me to do it for free? Surely you jest. My dear adventurer, when you ask an old Don for a favor, you should at least try to make it worth his while. Judging by your garb, I rather doubt you could afford my services. But the fact you offer nothing is laughable. Oh yeah? We'll take this from Amadi. See what you have to say now, you little squint. Welcome to chat, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. See, we got a couple guys in here, or er, a couple viewers in here. Glad to have you all on the stream, man. Oh, Mistress Mumadi instructed you to seek me out, did she? Humph. Consider yourself fortunate. I do have such influential friends. I shall be brief, and you shall be attentive. You attend the Sapphire Avenue Exchange, the busiest and most profitable marketplace in the Sultan. Sultanate. Yeah. Being advantageously situated in relation to other city-states, Odaz markets have never have ever served as both the literal and figurative centers of Eorzean commerce. All the great overland trade routes lead to our city, and major and majority of maritime trade between Valbrand and Aldenard passes through our ports. This is one thing that's going to get me through this playthrough, is the pronunciations of some of the, of the names and stuff. You'll have to bear with me on this, especially if I'm going to be narrating some of this stuff. Because of this, countless companies and Corsotia have chosen Ulda as their base of operations. They see to it that this marketplace 
uh, is awash with merchants and money launderers day and night. Anything a man could ever desire can be purchased here, provided he has sufficient funds. Surely there's something you seek, adventurer. A deadlier sword, perhaps? Or a shinier trinket? Whatever it is you want, the exchange will have it. Like I said earlier, you made the comment about rolling my face on the keyboard for a name for my Rogadin. All Rogadins might as well have had their, you know, when their names were made, somebody bashed their face into that keyboard. That is exactly how Rogadin names were made. Guaranteed. They have no rhyme or rhythm to their names. That's just how it is. I am going to turn my studio light down just a little bit. I feel like it's a little bright. Uh, maybe a little bit too much. That's yeah, a little bit better. All right. To the north, you'll find merchants peddling armor and accessories, curatives, and crafting materials. By the way, I love crafting. It is definitely one of my uh, one of my favorite things to do in this game. Crafting and fishing. I have fallen asleep a many times fishing on this game. And to the south, you'll find weapons, tools, and assortment of other useful items for sale. Seek out a particular merchant or browse to your heart's content. But do try to remain aloof should you find something that piques your interest. Decisions made in the heat of the moment are usually unwise, especially where coin is concerned. Ahem. That is all the complimentary aid you shall have from me. And far too much for my taste. My regards to Momadine. Now off with you. Now this is one Lalafell I wouldn't mind punning into the sun. Handing over items. Yeah, we did that. We know. Alright, so next up, we gotta head over to the Gladiator's Guild. Oh yeah, see that? That feels so much better. Camera speed. See, okay, hold on. Something I, I want to point out. So, I was talking about earlier in character creation. How hard Lalafells can be... Or how hard it is to seeing them in the game when you're in a dungeon. Look at my Rogadin character, right? Compared to the Lalafell. Now, imagine that in a dungeon full of 50 people. And trying to see that little shit in a dungeon. It's not happening. That's that's the main reason I chose a Rogadin. Because it's a big character, easy to see. Especially as a healer. It's really important to know where I am at. And if I can't see my character, it it's just... I'm getting blamed for everybody dying. <laughs> so, that's the whole reason for that. Alright, let's attune... Let's get... Uh, anytime we cross these... Uh, Aetherite crystals, we definitely should get these. Now, unfortunately, quick travel stuff, yeah, we know how that works. Um, anytime you come to a crystal, you can fast travel somewhere. Yeah, no, because you're not pointing and clicking on them. So, I don't think... Okay, yeah, I gotta complete the level 10 quest for starting class. Okay, that's what I thought. I knew that there was a base requirement to unlock some of the other classes. But yeah, no. Uh, they are impossible. Do you play with mouse and keyboard? Do you play with controller? What do you play with? I'm curious. So we have the Weaver's Guild over here. If you come over in this direction, this is the Miner's Guild. If you're an old dog. Mouse and keyboard. Nice. Yeah, after, like, so like I said, I started on controller. I started on PS4 when the game first came out. So, like, I don't know. Uh, it's something I've gotten used to. Like, being able to hot switch between stuff like this... It's so much easier on like for me to switch between hot bars is just way easier. So actually we don't need 
we can I usually delete these from this bar just because that's all right there. So you have the Miner's Guild here. Or no, I'm sorry. This is the uh, Goldsmith. Goldsmith is here. The Miner was the other one. So you have... In Uldah, you have the Gladiator, the Thermiturge, the Pugilist, the Miner's Guild, the Weaver's Guild, the Golds... Or no, is it? I'm pretty sure it's Goldsmith here, isn't it? Yeah, Goldsmith. Okay, I was right. Uh, Goldsmith... Yeah, I think that's all the uh, classes that are here in Old Da, if I remember correctly. I could be missing some. Oh, Alchemist. I just saw the icon for it. But yeah, the uh, Alchemist Guild's here too. Uh, Gladiator is downstairs. Alchemist is upstairs. Alright, so let's... Mask... Impact too. So I don't know. I've been playing PC long enough now that like, and that's one of those things. Like, it, let's here. I'll actually, for shits and giggles, I will. Like, I, I don't know. I can do it. It's just I don't know. I feel like it's just smoother. Like for me personally, I feel like it's smoother playing on. Oh, there we go. Like, depending on what I'm doing. Like, if I'm fighting, personally, being able to switch between hotkeys and stuff is so, or hotbars is so much easier on on a controller. And especially as a healer, you need to be able to switch and move around and do stuff really quickly. And I just haven't gotten there. Like having to press one through zero. Like I just, I don't know. Having to switch between or press the button for all this. Like I haven't. I don't know. It makes it very difficult, especially. Well, I guess since I did this, since you can mouse click like this, and I don't know. Eh, it's not horrible, but I don't know. Especially like with party list stuff. Um, ah, throw on my controller. Um, with party list stuff, it's actually really easy personally. Like just switching through all that as a healer, it's pretty nice. Now I gotta switch it back. But yeah, I don't know. I, I've always just found it easier. Very true, very true. Teach throw on it. I mean, if you can play a mouse and keyboard, more power to you. My brain my brain cells don't allow me to do it. So <laughs> Yeah. Well, and see, like, even with my mouse, I have plenty of uh, little buttons on there that, you know, I could macro things to them, but it's just... Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna accept the initiate or the initiating quest into... Oh, hold on. Yes. I was pressing buttons a little too fast. So, like I said, some of this stuff I'm not going to get too crazy into just because, like, especially, like, vocalizing all of it. But stuff like this, I'll get a little bit more in-depth to. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. It it'll be kind of a toss-up on what I narrate and what I don't. Hi! I heard Lulu Stew. So, you're Nimble, bro. Tis a good... Tis a strong name. Nimble? Strong? That's like... That's a... That... I don't know. That doesn't sound right. But, you know, I'm a big boy. I can take it. On behalf of the Gladiators Guild, allow me to welcome you. I am Myla, Guildmaster here. So you wish to study our arts. I presume you have your reasons for choosing the sword over all other weapons. Perhaps you think it easiest to learn. A sword is a simple weapon, but to wield a blade is anything but simple. For every, for every Colosseum champion to emerge from our ranks, there have been countless disappointments who failed to achieve greatness <laughs> bear in mind before you answer me nimble 
for I do not ask this question lightly. Have you the strength to live by the sword, and if your fate, die by the sword? I guess. Then welcome, gladiator, to your new home. Let's not waste time, shall we? I would gauge your aptitude for the sword. Just outside the gates of Old Dog, you'll find plenty of marmots, hornets, and shrews. Slay three of each and return here when finished. A simple task, but essential to your training nonetheless. Now go. Hey, cool. We finally get to get into some combat here and do something. Um, just to keep it interesting before... or Actually, you know what? We'll actually go finish the quest that Mumidi gave us just so we can get that extra little boost of XP. Um, and have that little... Hopefully, it should level us, I think. We'll see. It would be nice if it did. Hey, look! Big boy can jump! Holy crap! And jump as tall as a person. Whoop! Right over their head. Hey, hold on. I want to note that I said this earlier. One cat person. Two cat person. A bunny. A dragon lady. You, you see a lot of cat people. And 14. But I want it noted how many Rogadins you see. Alright. Mumidi! My favorite little Lala. How was your tour of the city, Nimble? Get lost, did you? Hey, well, it does a big place to see and do. Oh no, Makotes are by far they're they're a favorite amongst FF14 players. But wandering around aimlessly don't pay the bills. If you're serious about making a living here, you'll need to remember where things are. So, when you go exploring, explore like you got a purpose, eh? Right then, that's all that's left for you to work hard. Make money and spend it here at the quicksand. All right, so we got 107 gil, got a little bit of money in our pocket, and a little bit of XP there. And it did indeed level us, and we gained, eh, it looks like about 10, 20 HP there, which will be nice. So, no new skills, but that's all right. Um, our next, let's see, action and traits. Our next one's at level 4, which is Riot Blade. Um, that one delivers an attack with a potency of 100. Um, so, that's actually... For anybody who's watching that doesn't play uh, Final Fantasy XIV or does play and doesn't play a Gladiator or Paladin, um, the Paladin uh, actually has kind of a rotation, kind of like a, a, a pugilist, if you will. Um, I need to go out this gate. Um, so you start with Fast Blade and then transition into Riot Blade, and you actually do more damage. Uh, so if you see down in the bottom left corner, if I just start or if I start with Riot Blade, it just does a hundred. If I hit with Fast Blade and then hit with a combo of Riot Blade, I do oh, more than double the damage uh, with combo potency there. So all right, new location, battle. Yep, I know how all this works. So I'm not. If y'all wanna, if y'all want me to explain any of that stuff, just let me know. I will, but. I personally don't need it, so. Alright. Kill some little marmots. Yep, binding items. Unfortunately, the combat in the beginning is very slow. Alright, so we got the marmots. I am not even going to attempt the giant tortoise because they will just merc me. Alright, so we got all the stuff. Uh, the Hornets and Shrews, if I remember correctly, there's none on this side. So we'll have to go back around. I swore... Yeah, there's a... Actually, real quick. I miss my Chuckabo already. <laughs> I miss having the movement speed of a Chuckabo. Oh, that's another thing that I really loved, um, is the flying mounts. I, lo I miss being able to fly. But we'll get there. It, we'll get there. It'll happen. Um, let's actually... We'll kill a couple things. See if we can get a couple levels here.
or not a couple levels. We'll we'll try to get a level or two. Um, another thing, it you can run a chain for you guys that don't play. Uh, you can actually run a chain. So if you see down in the bottom on my XP bar, if you continuously kill stuff that's higher level than you, you actually gain a percentage boost on the amount of XP that you gain. So it's advantageous to kill stuff. I I believe it's the same level or higher, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong though. I don't. It's been a while, so I could be wrong. But I think it's something. I know it's at least higher level. There we go. All right. So now we got Riot Blade. That'll uh, that'll make a difference in our damage there. All right. Well, I guess I was wrong. I th thought there was a. I thought there was another crystal over here. I guess I'm wrong. If there is, I... There might... I think there's one over there. That's alright. Uh, yeah, so we need... Yeah, there's Horizon. Copper Bell Mines. Uh, Copper Bell Mines is a fun dungeon. Um, but yeah, so unfortunately... We gotta run back into the city. I swore... Well, actually, there. Wow, actually, there used to be a crystal right outside the housing gate right here. I thought too. Um, so you can buy houses in this game. Uh, it is really difficult. I don't know. I know they added apartments for people that like to solo adventure, like me. Um, for because people that are not in a guild, uh, it can be very difficult to afford a house. It gets very expensive, and they're kind of monopolized by big clans. So you can buy an apartment in the city. Uh, so we gained about 10 HP off that last level. Um, I have not, unfortunately, unlocked the Aetherite. Or no, I did. The one over by the door. But I don't, I don't have enough Aetherites yet to teleport, so... Which actually, the teleport's only to the main crystals, so it wouldn't matter anyways. But uh, we'll grab a couple of these other Aetherites. I'm trying to remember, I don't know if I grabbed the one by the summoning bells and the merchant's stalls. Yeah, no, housing was hard when it first came out, too. It hasn't gotten any better, from what I remember. Because I know... God, last time I played, I think the cheapest... Only 300k? That's actually not bad. Um, last I remember housing, like an actual house, I think the cheapest, like for a small house, was like 50 mil. Or like 45 mil, something like that. Like, it was, it was outrageous. That dude looked like a Power Ranger. <laughs> Alright, so we got some stuff to kill over here. Got some Hornets. So let's see. I was telling y'all about the combo. So we 16. Bam, 28 with the combo there. So let's see, if I start with Riot Blade, see it only did 10. So definitely get a lot more damage by combos. And that's without using fight or flight. Alright, the hairs are over here. By the uh, train station, if I remember correctly. And I'm one of those people, I will kill stuff as I'm just running around. Because every little bit of XP is nice. That and we get the little bit of items right now to that we can sell later just for that little bit of gold starting gold. Oh, I say gold. Gil. Alright, some snapping shrews. So with fight or flight. 36. I actually did 
a decent bit more damage there. Fighter flight active. I mean, we're two shot in these guys, so. Boom. All right. There we go. So that's the Gladiator Guild stuff done. Let's get back. Do we? Yeah, we'll uh, do a return call. The timers, though, man. 800 and something second timer for a return. That's wild. Um, we'll take the crystal to go back to the Gladiator's Guild, though. I actually, I didn't, I haven't looked at this yet. I like how they kind of broke this up. This, they've changed this a little bit too, which looks nice. So yeah, we didn't grab that one, the one that I thought we grabbed. Black mages, we'll need to grab that. We can grab that here in a minute. Nope, oh, where am I going? Over here. And a little turned around here. All right, let's go turn this quest in. Welcome back, Nimble. I take it you've dispatched the beast with ease? Rest assured, there will be far greater challenges to come if you wish to master the sword. You must test yourself against a wide variety of foes to this end. I present you this hunting log. It contains information on creatures ideal for a gladiator in training. You will doubtless gain valuable experience should you seek out and slay them. It is only with such practice that you'll recognize and eliminate the deficiencies in your technique. Your training under me shall continue once the haft is sits so snugly in your hand that you cannot imagine holding aught else. Until then, Nimble. Alright, so I gotta get level 5, which... Ah, uh, really? I was so close. Alright, so now we gotta do hunting log. Yeah, uh, yeah, this, you're not wrong. The teleport thing is actually really nice. I, I enjoy that. Um, let's go grab the Thermaturge. Thermagist. Uh, crystal real quick. But no, I like how they added the... Because uh, it didn't used to have the map on there. It used to be just location. So like, yeah. The map that actually shows you where it's at. That's new. It used to just give you this list. And you just kind of had to know where it was. So, I mean, this is nice. I mean... I, I remember the maps well enough that it's not too bad, especially in Gridania and Ulda and Limza. I remember those areas well enough that it really doesn't matter. But this is nice. Um, let's go do... Since we got the hunting log, let's go knock out a couple of those. Ladybugs, Cactar. So we got a couple things that we can... Uh, oh, actually... We get too ahead of ourselves. If I remember correctly, once we unlock all of the uh, Aetherite crystals, we unlock... Yeah, no maps. There didn't used to be any maps. Um, but once we unlock unlock all the Aetherite crystals, we unlock the uh, teleports to the gates, if I remember correctly. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Bear with me here. Map. We need to go upstairs. Over, was it this side? Yeah, they didn't used to have maps. You used to, it literally used to just be a list of locations. Why? Ah, that's something we need to add. Alright. Yeah, we may have to pull this up a little bit as we go, just to... I mean... <laughs> yeah, no, they've definitely... They've had some e um, ease of life additions to the game over the years. Definitely much appreciated ones. Like I said, the map is definitely a nice one. 
I'm curious to see what's changed. I mean, like I said, it's been a while since I've played, so they're constantly like they they've done a really good job with this game. But we're gonna grab all the crystals real quick, just so that way uh, we get the gate teleports. Uh, let's go to the Weaver's Guild so we can grab the we can grab the uh, Sapphire Avenue crystal. But we'll have to grab these crystals to unlock the gates. I completely just kind of walked by this one earlier. Alright, so... Well, I appreciate it. Like I said, if, if it's something that gets popular, I'd love to turn this into a... Uh, into a series. Which, I, I've seen the viewer account kind of jump around a little bit, and so it seems like we're getting... Uh, Getting some people in and out of here, so that's awesome to see. Um, I know Final Fantasy XIV is definitely one that a lot of people are into. Uh, I wanted to see how how well it would work on a live stream. Oh, speaking of live stream, oh, it's almost ten o'clock. Goodness gracious, it's almost time for bed, unfortunately, because I work at six o'clock in the morning. So, um. I'll do another quest or two and then probably have to end up calling it a night. Um, but stream schedule for all you guys that are in here right now is Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, sometimes I do stream on Saturdays depending on my work schedule. Um, usually I stream around 7 p.m. Central Time. So, all right, there we go. We got the gates unlocked now. There we go. All right, so let's go... We'll start at Nald. We're going to do a little bit of the hunting log just so we can get level 5 and start the next gladiator guild or next gladiator uh, quest. Cuz I want to I want to do I'm going to do the next gladiator quest and then probably call it after that. Well, there's level 5. I knew it wouldn't take much. I'm surprised at how much I remember, honestly, for how long it's been since I played. But the game is definitely as pretty as I remember. Unfortunately, Old Da is one of those places it's a little bit more bland compared to Limza or uh, Gridania. But nonetheless, it's still a cool place. Alright, little cactus guys. And then, if I remember correctly... There's that. The... Beak... Yeah, these guys. I know we need a few of these. Alright, so we're level 5. Let's see how well we can kill one of these guys. Yeah, Gridania is very pretty. And I'm definitely a woodsy kind of person. I like I like the outdoors, and Gridani is just very pretty. Oh yeah, we killed the level seven, no problem. Cool. All right. Nah, this I don't know. I've really missed playing this game. A lot of nostalgia coming back. All right. There we go. Look, see, we got level six now. Oh, what did we get? Total eclipse. Um, I don't remember what that does. AOE attack. That's right. Okay, so AOEs, I generally. Gotta find a button position for that. That'll be comfortable. Actually, we'll... For right now, we'll move this here.
Oh uh, no, I've I've missed it tremendously. It's by far probably one of my favorite, probably my favorite game of all times, like hands down. A dusty mongrel. Yeah, he he's definitely pretty dusty looking. Looks like he needs some meat on his bones too. All right. Oh, we aggroed. Uh, so for you guys that don't play, if you see that little icon next to the uh, the guy's name, uh, that little like triangle-looking thing, um, that is basically telling you that they are um, they're aggressive. So they will attack you if they if you come into into a line of sight. I can definitely tell that I am not high enough level to be fighting these guys because I'm missing attacks. Or I don't have the gear for it. But that's alright. We're still killing them pretty easily. Boom. That should be the last one there. Alrighty, unfortunately, I don't have my home teleport back yet. So we'll uh, we'll take the long way around, actually. Fate system. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the fates. Fates are a really good way to level. Oh, the fate grind. I don't... How much? Eight minutes? I might be able to... Might be able to... Do this one by myself. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah, I think we should be able to do this. Now, the Desert Pice is going to be a bitch. Yeah, I don't know. Fates can be rough. Especially when you're doing them solo like this. Yeah, depending on what you're grinding for. Because I remember... Um, I forgot what the weapon's called. But there was a weapon that we, we used to grind for... Um, it's your it's your weapon whenever you hit level 50. Um, I forget what they're called. Uh, but you have to do fate grinds for them. Those were a pain in the ass. Uh, please do Ah, oh, damn it. We aggroed the big dude. I might actually have to back off of this. Well, even if we don't, uh, even if we don't complete it, uh, we still get XP when it finishes, so. Yeah. Relic weapons, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the relic weapons, man. The grind on those is ridiculous. Wish I had my shield lob so that I could pull aggro. Yeah, screw it. We're just going to pull all of them. <laughs> We're a tank, right? With no gear. Actually, we've almost beaten this by ourselves. Yeah, I can only hope that the grind has gotten a little bit less um, intense. 
with some of the expansions? Probably not, but here's to hoping, right? We've almost completed the fate. We should get a... Actually, we'll level up here just off of killing the guys, off of killing the monsters that we need to kill. So... Yep, there's a level there, and I think we might even get one from beating the fate. Who knows? I don't know how much XP we'll get from it. It's level 10, and we're only level 7. Wow, that's all we got? That's crazy. Enderwalk, Relic, Weapons, and Witcher. Gotcha. Well, and that's another thing that I know that they made easier was, like... Um, the, the grind from, like, once you hit 50, like, I remember there's, I don't know, like, you kind of progress so quickly, once you hit the end of a, a Realm Reborn and you start getting into expansions, you kind of progress so quickly that you really don't need to worry about getting some of those items unless you just want them. I don't know why I'm running around. Um, Alright, so let's go grab that other Gladiator Guild uh, quest real quick. We'll finish that one and we'll probably wrap it up for the night just because it's getting late. Uh, da -da 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 -da, Gladiator's Guild. I gotta remember where to go. All right. Hey, we actually uh, get a new sword and some gear here, uh, which so one thing that I learned, uh, especially early on or like when I used to play the game, any time you get the option to take money, take the money. Because especially once you get into crafting, level up your crafting skills, you make high quality items. Don't like I don't even bother picking items like uh, gear from uh from quests anymore i always take the option of the money so five pieces of 10 five times 25 is a is uh is 125 gold so i mean we'll take that all right so tell the marauders the quicksand to face me okay Let's go tell these guys what's up. I actually think we get into a little bit of a fight here, if I remember correctly. Shh. Yeah, see, the only thing that gets me in trouble with this game is I could stay up for hours playing this game because there's just so much to do and it's so like it sucks you in it's just i don't know it's so much fun that that's that's the one downside to this game is how freaking how much it can suck you in um I, oh those marauders i think they're out here actually oh yeah, yeah, yeah. i remember this uh where are you guys at Oh. You stinking marauders, go back to Limza. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's something I learned with my other character, my other Rogadin that I have, was the fact that you can... You don't have to... Uh, you don't have to stress as much about it, but like realistically, like I said, you you progress so fast. Like realistically, like if there's something you you struggle with. A couple of night, all nighters. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, but there's a couple like so, like say you're on level 50 stuff. If you progress, like your character level, you can jump so quickly. Like if you get up to like 65, 70, and you buy the gear or make the gear for like a level 65 or 70. You can kill those level 50 bosses, no problem. Like, those items automatically, like, just kind of make the... Like, a high-quality version of them 
um, make the make the relic items kind of irrelevant. Um, I'm assuming though the smart advice is actually the gold thing is what you're talking about, but that's just I don't know. It that's something that I learned that taking the gold, like the amount of gold that you end up so. I forget how much it is. I'd have to look it up. But from level 1 to level 50, through all the quest line stuff that you have to do, if you only take the gold, I think it's equivalent to like a mil or two, if I remember correctly. I, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I know it's quite a bit. Which is why I recommend it. Because like I said, you can always make, you can invest that money into a crafting skill and then just make your own gear. Uh, where's this last Nimrod at? There he is. Yeah, no, it it level one to fifty definitely is kind of the tutorial. Um, you know what? Now you got me curious. Let me see. I'll look it up real quick, just because I'm curious now. Let's see. Of course, I'm not. Anyone know how much? Okay, here it goes. Okay, so for the entire MSQ, you probably have enough to buy a small lot with a bit of leftover, but the house. Houses cost are in addition to the land cost, another 450k to 300 mil plus furnishing costs. Um, you're only going to make a couple million gil from doing MSQ from start, and that's that is more backloaded than anything. Definitely not a good way to make it, but like as starter, um, So you, you make more, obviously, from the later quests, but from the beginning, like, 1 through 50, you, you do make a decent bit. I'd say at least a million, if I remember correctly. Again, it could be less, but I think it's something like that. Get out of here, you stinky sea creature. You smell like salt water. I can tell you're not from here. Oh, lively even for the quicksand, you two. Putting on a show for us? Ah, this guy. No, definitely. And honestly, crafting's... Like, if you're going to make money, crafting's the way to do it. I mean, obviously. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, you can quest, you can do fates, you can, I don't know, you can kill a bunch of crap. But at the end of the day, crafting is gonna be your, is gonna be your money maker. Um, gathering, um, depending on your gathering levels, uh, as far as miner and um, botanist, those as well. Yeah, no, this guy's awesome. What is this? Another goddamn fool? Show some respect when you talk to the Derivatan, leader of a troop of bloody mummers. Or some such. I I heard you the first time. Your voice carries quite well. Then unless you want me to split your skull open with me, actually you better. <laughs> Scared of the sword, huh? That, that sword, it couldn't be. Frenzy? But only the sword of Nald would bloody hells. 
It's you. You know, I've never been one to stand back and watch. Mind if I join the fun? B -b beg your pardon, sir. Yep. Most definitely. Why do they always do that? <laughs> Looks like it's just you and me. Standing up to that Lumenzian was quite brave of you. And quite foolish. I think I like you, Gladiator. Name's Aldis. And I'd buy you a drink, but I'm afraid I just spent the last of my coin. I used to be a younger Gladiator like you. Back then, I... Uh... But that hardly concerns you. These days, I'm just an explorer of the unexplored, a seeker of as yet unknown experiences. Like that beautiful stranger keeping my bed warm right now. Gods, I've missed this city. This wonderful desert jewel of debauchery and sin. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, Mo. I'm glad that I can keep some energy. I can definitely tell it's getting later, though, because the viewer count's definitely dropped a decent little bit. But, that's alright. Alright, we're gonna, for time's sake, we're gonna... We're gonna kind of bop through some of this real quick. Just a bunch of mumbo-jumbo. It's definitely... There's a lot of filler in the intro, and I'd like to get into more of the fun fun stuff of this so there will be stuff that I kind of pop through all right in the dispatch yard so we need to go through one of the gates let's see here aether we need to go through central I think yeah well actually the Nald gates a little bit closer I'm really curious if I can kill one of those turtles I probably could, but... Actually, let me look at my inventory. Crafting materials. Oh, skill speed. We could use that. We'll, uh... We'll set that to my hotbar right now, since I don't really have uh, a whole lot of skills right now. Papa Sean! I love Papa Sean! And his little mullet looking hair. Well, you certainly look part of an adventurer, my friend. Might you be the good soul Momadi advised me to expect? Hmm? I'm Papa Sean, station master of this humble dispatch yard. An empty title, I assure you. I am truly no more than a tired old Lalafell passing his final years in quiet and solitude. Twelve no, there have been plenty of both of these last five years since calamity struck. The de devastation was vast. Yet now true old Dawes work together, doing all in our power to rebuild what laid to ruin. By the sweat of our brows and the love of our home, we have rebuilt old Daw to grandeur and majesty that you see today. The railways which run through this dispatch yard, too, were born of the noble efforts of a great many souls. But there is still much work to be done. The wounds left by calamity run deep, isolated, Areas beyond our lines of supply remain, and there are places yet wait, wanting for relief and restoration. Odal needs the aid of you and your brethren, friend. In fact, never has there been more dire. Has our need been more dire? Which brings me to the point, I suppose. Do you believe I may have some work suited to one of your ability? So see, just in, we got that. Where did our other ones go? I s oh, we haven't completed the quest yet. That's right. Uh, we're not quite ready yet. Okay. Um, so 100 gold just from that. And then if we run and go and finish this other quest. And mind you, we're gaining gill as we're completing quests too. So between the gill that you gain from playing and doing MSQ and side quests... Um, in tangent with the gill that you get, I can't remember, what is the, no, there we go. I was going to say, what is the, uh, button for auto run? Anyways, uh, so a hundred gill here, 
on top of the 127 we just gained, like it, it adds up really quick. So that's why I recommend just grabbing the gill uh, as a reward. Because especially starter items, like let's see if we come to the market board real quick. I don't, I believe we should be able to use it. So gladiators arms. Yeah, so Viking sword is the highest thing we can buy right now. God bless. So you can see how expensive the items are. And these are for normal items. So that's level 7. Let's see. Yeah, okay, there you go. So 12 plus 4. So a high quality version of the Bronze Bastard Sword is just as good as the Viking Sword non-high qual. But you can get it for 100 gold. I think the Viking Sword is a uh, unique item. I think that's why it's so expensive. Auto attack's actually faster on this item, and the delay is faster. So, and... Yeah, so, slightly better. I don't think there's a HQM, or HQ version of the Viking Sword. Uh... Ah, nope, wrong button. Good lord. I mean, stat comparably, though, for a level 1, I could see why that's so expensive. I mean, stat comparison, that's way better. High qual, 3,000. And we don't have a sword or a shield yet, so. But yeah, see, like, starter items, high qual are pretty cheap, so. Not too bad. Alright, let's go back to the Gladiators Guild, finish this up, and we will wrap up for the night. Because I need some Zs. We definitely made this one a little bit long, this uh, live stream a little bit longer, just because of the fact that, uh, you know, it's kind of the intro into this series. So I wanted it to. Search for witnesses at Scorpion's Crossing. Um, but normally we'll probably do about an hour, hour and a half, uh, on our normal days. But since it's the intro and I'd like to get a little bit of a foundation started into this, I just, I wanted to make this one a little bit longer. I appreciate you joining. It, it means a lot to me to have uh, have people that are enjoying the stream. I'm glad that uh, I could bring you some good content and something to kind of chill with as you're playing Final Fantasy yourself. So it means a lot to me to have you here. I appreciate it. Nervous Merchant. Nope, nope. That's not what we need. Okay. So, kicking a hornet's nest. Man, I want my chuckabo already. I don't think that's still like level 20 or 30 though, unfortunately. So we got a little ways to go for that. And we def uh, I think that's MSQ driven. If I remember correctly. And yeah, we get to kill some stuff. Sweet. Yeah, there's something for our hunting log too. That's a fate that's actually a little bit more to, more attuned to our level.
Gladiators are better than, uh... Better, better than Marauders. Changed my mind. Alright, unfortunately I'm trying to wrap up, otherwise I would, uh... Participate in that fate and try to get that extra XP. Because we're almost level 8 already. 8 out of 80. <laughs> Alright, so we finished the quest for the gladiator. Uh, I think... Let's see, how much XP is that? 1400? Nice! We'll, uh, we'll hit level 8. And we get a non-high qual... What was that? Bronze Bastard Sword. So we don't have to buy one. We actually get a little bit of a bump there. And then, yeah, that extra gold. Plus, how much uh, gold was it for completing the quest? Oh, we don't get any. Okay, just XP. That's okay. Oh, most definitely. Definitely cooler. Alright. Go turn this into Myla. The pri the the one character in Old uh, that I'm not gonna use an Australian accent for. Alright. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Boom, roll actions. All right, you've earned a ro roll action. Rampart. Um, our spells, weapon skills assigned to all the classes. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so Rampart, if I remember correctly, increases the amount of aggro that you pull. Roll trait. Reduces, oh no, reduces damage taken by 20%. Never mind. Um, I swore, okay, so like provoke. Uh, provoke uh, increases your... Animity is what I was thinking of. Rampart just increases our defense. Uh, so that'll actually... I keep all this stuff sorted in a certain way. Like, I keep AoE spells by each other. I keep um, effect stuff. So, like, that usually I'll keep on one bar. So for buffs and debuffs... And then combos I'll have on one. I have I keep them sorted a certain way. But uh Alrighty guys. Well, I greatly appreciate everybody that joined in tonight. And Mr. Nimble Butt over here wants to give you a wonderful uh Rogadin dance. No, get back to dancing, sir. Mr. Nimble Brock. Brooke wants to give you a fancy dance, fancy pants, farewell. And we appreciate all you guys joining in. It's been a wonderful stream, and I greatly appreciate all you guys, all you guys being here. Um, like I said, next stream is going to be on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. So if you guys are enjoying what you're seeing so far, I'd greatly appreciate having you guys back, and would love to see you all here again on Wednesday. And uh, seems like this uh, this series might be something that uh, is going to kind of catch some popularity. So uh, we'll continue to do this, and it's been awesome. So y'all have a wonderful rest of y'all's night, and we'll catch y'all on Wednesday. Solo, or, uh, solo clips out, guys.